Hi everybody, so a bunch of people have been asking me about some of the chords and sinking feelings, so I'm just going to show you how to play it here. So I'm going to start from the top, I'm trying to keep it short here, but I'll go into some detail. So the first chord is A major, and that's our key of the song, so that's our one. And then the first change is this. And that's like going one to uh, three, it's a little bit of mode mixture there, so it's like we're doing this. But um, I like to use inversions, so I'm doing the three in second inversion. And that way we get this cool bass movement. And you'd think it might be this, but it's not. It's the it's not this it's not the flat seven, it's the flat three. And then this little bit here, we're going back to the flat three, but this time instead of it just being a normal flat three, I'm augmenting it. Add a sharp four in there because I think it sounds nice. So augmented flat three plus the sharp four, and then we're going back to the one. So we go one flat three, and then we go back to the one again. But this time I make it dominant because we're going to go somewhere else. Okay, now the reason that I think this is working is because the, the basic motion here is right. So we're going to go. Here's our A, we're doing this chromatic down thing. A, there's our first step. Now we're gonna go down to here, but I'm gonna move it up to here. Is we got this da, 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 thing, but it's it's hidden in various octaves and things. You can sing. So that's why that works, I think. And originally the chords were. That was boring. <laughs> so augmented flat three five seven with, a, with an added seven there, and then we're gonna go. Now that is that's a that's a six in our key, but it's like dominant. But I, I'm not really thinking about it that way because it's as if we're going like this one flat three one seven and then there. So it's more just like a chromatic thing. And then we're going to go to a minor four, except I put a, a six, a major six in the minor four. So instead of just being a, I'm adding, and then I'm putting it up here. And that's just a little bit of chromaticism up to sort of mirror the chromaticism down that we had. We had this, and then, kind of like that. I think it's sort of call and response kind of thing. So it's like this, um, so we got, uh, okay, and then that's, I don't think those are chords there really. I mean, they, they technically are chords, but it's not really functional. It's just chromaticism. But it's D, B, D, F, A, and then you move the B up to a C, and then C sharp, and then when you get to the D, this is like a, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called a polychord, you basically have one bass note, and then that's different than your chord, it's the same chord that's in that song September, that I really like. I think that's a, um, a great sound, it's like got so much tension in it, because it's got this suspended thing. So anyway, so I put it in there, and now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do another suspended chord. Um, I'm just going to take this whole thing and move it down a whole step at the end of the chorus. So, um, let's see. And hold the A. So, friends, about it. Now we're going to change key. So this, this brings us, since we've gone down a whole step, now we're going down a whole step from A to G. That's why we're going down this step here, because I want to move to this G key. So 
now we're in G minor. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to go one flat three. And the same, it's literally the same exact thing, it's, except it's a dominant flat three. And I'm using the same inversion that I did in this first bit. It's because I'm going to the flat six here. And the three is the five of the flat six, so it works. So we go five, but I'm going to suspend my five, and I never want to, I don't really want to hear the full five here, so I'm going to go sus five, and then when I resolve the sus, we're going to take the bass note down to a seven, so that it still doesn't, because I don't want to do this, that's like too much resolution here, because we're in the middle of the chorus, and I don't want to, I don't want it to feel resolved, so we go, we take that bass note down, and then we land back at our one, because we just hit our five, one, but one in first inversion, so that we don't feel a resolution, because otherwise it would sound like this. And that's too much resolution for the middle of the chorus. We're not done with the chorus yet, so we have to go. Okay, and then we're going back up here, and this is just like another sus chord. I'm actually not sure how functionally this works. It's just sort of this, like, we've gone... So it's just a way to travel back up, so... thing and then now we get the full we're at the end of this chorus so ah uh, there's the five and then but instead of going back to the one we're gonna go to this to the original key and the way we get there is just by jumping there because <laughs> I couldn't figure out a better way to modulate so I was lazy there um, and though you have to have some way to modulate so um, I, I, I picked this melody note, and I thought that sort of at least that slide brought us into that new key. It's not, uh, whatever. I don't think it's the best way to change keys, but it brings you back home at least, so. So that's the song. That's basically the idea. Um, one flat three plus five. One again with a seven. It's just basically chromaticism. Uh, and then, and then the same thing with the with the chorus. It's just walking down. So that's, that's the basic idea of the song, and uh, I hope that helps with people who are interested in learning it and figuring it out and everything. And ask me about more songs, because I'll show you how to play them. Okay, ciao ciao.